I'm going to show you how to do a big break conversion on the GTTI and it's quite cost effective, quite easy and uh, all the parts are readily available. So there's the standard Daihatsu disc and then there's the big disc it's 288 millimeters and then we've got Willwood calipers and the pads so it's actually very straightforward the caliper is four pot and it's lug mounted And as it happens, it fits really well. And I've got here I'm trying this can't not easy with the camera, but now one hole needs to be slightly enlarged on the caliper just to reach across to the thread. Sorry about the camera shaking. Now, the disc is from a Mercedes, it's a Mercedes C-Class, and they are 25mm thick, these are just cheap discs that I bought to test it out. Um, the disc does need to be drilled for the 4x100 stud pattern but that's no problem and also a centering ring will be needed for the hub again easy to get um, you know get made you could even use a plastic wheel ring like this it's commonly used for alloy wheels um, there's no reason why that wouldn't work although you'd have to trim it because it, it would stick out too far. But um, in terms of holding the disc in place, once the wheel is on, you know, that's what holds the disc in place. So as long as you, you've got it properly centralized on the hub, then there's no issue there. Right, so I've got, I've made up outside, I've bolted the caliper to a another knuckle I'm just trying to stand on here so it doesn't fall off it's... <clears throat> so what I've done here is just used one of those plastic spigot rings for now and I've knocked the I've taken the studs out of the hub just Again, I've not, I've not done anything, I've not drilled the disc yet at all. Um, and here... There we are. So that goes straight in. And then on the other side... Oops, I don't know if you can see it. It just the hole needs to just be enlarged slightly. That's quite an easy job, and you can see also that the the pads properly fit over the disc. There's no overlap, and the um, offset of the disc is correct. So the gap here is good. lovely to change the pads on this literally just that's it it's a bit wobbly this decking right so the parts you're going to need 
got I've made a note of this anyway. So that's the caliper part number. Woolwood pads, I mean there's plenty of different brands available. Um, but these are the standard pads, if you like, that are recommended for general road use and light track duty. They call it the BP10 compound. Uh, the standard disc again, big, big size difference. So let's have a look then on this list I've got. So two Willwood Dynalite calipers, there's the part number again. That's the current price on Rally Design website, including the VAT for a pair. So that's you can see they're pretty, pretty um, great value. These calipers pads will be um, about 40 45 pounds. So the disc, like I say, is a Mercedes C Class and SLK, it's 288 millimeters, 46.5 millimeters height. And that's the important measurement to check because there's another Mercedes disc that is 44.5 from the A-Class Mercedes. You don't want that one. Make sure it's the 46.5 version. There's a few part numbers for common uh, common brands, but the, you know you can. There's numerous brands. Um, these are the cheapest of the cheap. Duratec. Duratec. Um, I think they were £32 for the pair delivered. But, you know, you've got your, your top brands there as well. Um, and then you'll also need a four M10 times 1.25 thread bolts, 35mm thread length. They need to be good quality, 8.8 .8 grade or 10.9. The ones I've bought are nice flanged ones they're 10.9 grade and they're coated with anti-rust um, and that of course with this type you don't need a washer um, these were I think four were seven pound fifty delivered off eBay um, so you need four of those four centering rings obviously that's the Daihatsu hub size 56.1 and these discs are 67 in the center. Um, the company, a good company to use is called Laser Master. If you look up, look up those online and you can just literally type in the, what you want on, on the website, the size, um, select steel, stainless steel, and um, it, it wouldn't be expensive. Well, I don't know why I put four. You only need two, don't you? So forget that. Two two centering rings. And then, of course, you will also need custom hoses because the distance for the flexible hose is going to be different and also it's a different um, a different thread. Well, that's the Daihatsu thread I've put on there, M10 times 1. Um, but on the caliper side that's the uh, focus. so depending on the obviously the price of the discs you go for um, other bits and bobs you'll need this is quite doable within about 350 pounds total Drilling the disc is actually quite easy. You don't have to be too precise as well with the holes. I know it might be a bit of a scary concept, but all you're doing is making the four holes able to go over the studs. And again, it's the center that's gonna centralize the disc. These holes as well, you know, they, they're always a good bit larger than the actual Stud anyway, what I've done there, you see, that's a Daihatsu hub, later spec hub. This is the, the bigger round version, um, but I've knocked the studs out. Very easy just to mark, to mark up on there, drill your holes. And um, one thing I have noticed as well, it's not actually a problem at all. The thickness here 
of the actual hub part is five and a half millimeters and on the diehatsu disc it's seven so what that will mean is your wheel will actually sit in 1.5 millimeters more which is no bad thing anyway for people that are running wide wheels um, so yeah you can see it's quite an easy project I've uh, apart from getting all the bits and bobs ready I've not gone any further I didn't want to um, I've not done anything like drilling the discs at all or, yet, or modifying the caliper so this is like I say one of the lug needs to be enlarged slightly on this hole just so it reaches across to the to the thread on the on the on the knuckle I'd recommend don't it's not worth touching both leave one completely standard because that's a nice precise fit for the bolt it's going to prevent any any movement of the caliper so leave one untouched and then the other hole like I say just enlarge it it needs to be slightly ovaled and then it will reach across to the other thread and, uh, and that is it just show you those again those part numbers there's like I said there is various brands of Willwood pads um, but you know the, the standard pad has got quite a good reputation certainly road use okay hopefully that's not falling over over there outside oh another thing is that clearance there you can see the clearance is good That's it.